Hello Desplorers, welcome back to another informative video presented by Desplore. As you all know, it's always a pleasure presenting to you some interesting but lesser known facts about the beautiful countries on the African continent. In this video, we're excited to present to you some lesser known facts about the country of Benin. Officially the Republic of Benin, and formerly Dahomey, Benin is a country in West Africa bordered by Togo to the west, Nigeria to the east, Burkina Faso to the northwest, and Niger to the northeast. The majority of its population live in a small southern coastline of the Bay of Benin, part of the Gulf of Guinea in the northernmost tropical portion of the Atlantic Ocean. The capital of Benin is Porto Nova, but the seat of government is in Cotonou, the country's largest city and economic capital. Benin covers an area of 114,763 square kilometers, and its population is estimated to be approximately 11.99 million people. Benin is a tropical nation, highly dependent on agriculture, and it's a large exporter of cotton and palm oil. Substantial employment and income arrive from subsistence farming. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. The official language of Benin is French, with several indigenous languages such as Fon, Bariba, Yoruba, and Dendi also being commonly spoken. The largest religious group in Benin is Roman Catholicism, followed closely by Islam, Voodoo commonly referred to as Voodoo outside the country, and Protestantism. Benin is a member of the United Nations, the African Union, the Economic Community of West African States, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the South Atlantic Peace and Cooperation Zone, La Francophonie, the Com Community of Sahel Saharan States, the African Petroleum Producer Association, and the Niger Basin Authority. So, without any further ado, here are the top 10 things you probably didn't know about Benin. Number 1. Benin was the first African country to transition from dictatorship to democracy. Benin was the first country in the 1990s to make the transition from a dictatorship to a multi-party democracy. Benin experienced a few non-violent coups in the post-independence history, with Maxi's dictatorial rule lasting between 1975 and 1990. The first multi-party elections marked a peaceful transition from a military rule to civilian rule, with the military incumbent Matthew Kereku conceding defeat. Number 2. Benin is named after the body of water. Benin, even after independence, continued to use Dahomey as its official name. It is only 15 years later that the name officially switched from Dahomey to Benin. This is because the kingdom of Dahomey was ethnic and represented just a small section of Benin landmass and society. Thus, the name Benin was adopted as an unbiased representation of the entire country. The Bay of Benin is a crescent shaped bay that stretches 640 kilometers covering the area between the noon outlet of the Niger River in Nigeria and Cape Saint Paul in Ghana. It has plenty of scenic pristine beaches that serve as a great tourist attraction. Number 3. Benin harbors the largest remaining population of lion in West Africa. The W. Ali Penjari in Benin harbors the largest remaining population of lions in West Africa. Active human activities has meant that lion has become extinct in most parts of West Africa as the grasslands become depleted by overgrazing and cultivation. Penjari National Park has remained one of the few sanctuaries for not only lions but also elephants, which became victims of infamous ivory trade. Penjari National Park is a place where you can easily get to see most of the big cats like lions, cheetahs, leopards, and big heavy veers, which are mainly elephants on your tour of West Africa. Number 4. Snakes are worshipped in Benin. In most parts of the world, snakes are feared, but in Benin, they are revered. Royal pythons are worshipped in Benin, especially in Uida. The good news is that the royal pythons are not dangerous, but the bad news is that the sacred reptiles are welcome in Beninese household, where they are fed when the doors of the temples are open at night. There is no fear when the locals welcome the slittering pythons into their living rooms, like an honored guest. The Temple of Pythons is a small room of 12 square meters that houses 50 adult royal pythons. Take a picture with a python around your neck or struck the snake if you are not scared of being strangled. Several shrines were built for offerings to the snake god, Dagbe, but the biggest offerings comes from the tourists who pay $1.50 to enter the temple of the sacred python. Number 5. Benin is a voodoo cradle. The West African country is a cradle of voodoo. The locals call it voodoo, which means spirit. The five divine elements ruling the earth, which is the main aspect of voodoo. Their ceremonies have nothing to do with the distorting image that has been popularized in Europe and America over Nollywood and no Nollywood movies. Maybe except for one aspect, which many people will find scary and uncomfortable, which is to worship the serpents. The religion was initiated back in the 19th century by its founder, ancestor of the kings of Alada. 
Voodoo came to Brazil and Caribbean with West African slave ships. Voodoo is an official religion of Benin, and it is only official in one country in the world. Voodoo believers coexist peacefully with Christians and Muslims, yet another country proving it is possible to live in peace, one next to each other, no matter which God you believe in. Number 6. Some Beninese are scared of taking pictures. Some people in Benin believe that photography steals a piece of your soul. You may think it is an outdated superstition, but respecting the belief will take you a long way. In Benin, you must always ask for permission or take pictures from afar and stay away from clear face shots. This unfounded fear has its origin from animism and voodoo. Personal belongings such as knee clippings, pieces of clothes, hair or blood could be used to cast a spell or a curse. It isn't a far stretch to believe that a photographic image has similar powers. So, portraits or close-up pictures are very difficult to shoot. Many people, especially kids, will not mind taking pictures. Number 7. Cotton is gold in Benin Cotton is gold in Benin as it constitutes 80% of the country's export. Cotton is widely used in the fashion industry. Clothes in Benin are made purely from cotton. The quality of the fabrics is spectacular. Women's fashion is especially beautiful and mostly used to make souvenirs. Number 8. Benin was a slave coast. Benin was part of the slave coast during the colonial era, and Charlie is not proud of this period of its history. Alada and Potonova played a main role in the slave trade, while Oquida was the main port of sending slaves to Brazil and the Caribbean. They do blame their own kings for this tragedy, and even though Benin forbade trading its own men and women in the 16th century, it didn't protect all the tribes and nations. Benin people are highly respectful of the slave history and maintain numerous museums and monuments for future populations. Number 9. The Benin flag's colors are very symbolic to its history. The red color on the flag symbolizes courage, yellow stands for wealth, and green symbolizes hope and revival. Benin gained independence on 1st August 1960 from France and became the Republic of Benin. It was previously known as Dahomey, a name of the 15th century kingdom that occupied the territory. Its current flag was adopted on 16 November 1959 and raised on the Independence Day. It was abandoned in 1975 by the Marxist regime, which took part in military coup and reintroduced in 1990 upon Benin becoming a multi-party democracy. The national flag of Benin is a flag consisting of two horizontal yellow and red bands on the fly side and a green vertical band at the hoist. The colors of the flag carry cultural, political, and regional meanings. Nationally, the yellow and green alludes to the northern savannas and palm grove located in the south of the country, while the red symbolizes the blood shed by those who fought for Dahomey. On the continental level, the yellow, green, and red represented the Pan-Africanist movement. Number 10. The country is famous in the world for carved wood mask. Benin wood carvers are well known. Their works are extremely authentic. It is a tradition handed over from one generation to another, spanning several centuries. Benin wood carvings are sold on global market, more so in Europe and North America and fetch good prices. Apart from wood carvings, Benin is also known for its great sculpture work based on ivories, bronze, iron and other metals. You can order for your own custom made wooden mask souvenir while on a trip to Benin. This is highly affordable as opposed to buying it on the international market. There you have it the explorers, those were the top 10 things you probably didn't know about Benin. We hope you learned a thing or two about the beautiful nation of Benin. Thanks for watching this video. As usual, if you can add more interesting facts about Benin that were not mentioned in this video, and the best comment will be pinned. Also, if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.